Chengdu is also famous for its persimmons. This regional specialty even gave rise to a persimmon wine tunnel. A century ago, trains used to pass through this tunnel. It was shut down when the trains were discontinued, but then was renovated and spruced up by Chengdu Wine. Recently, the tunnel has made a name for itself as a cultural and artistic venue that combines wine and arts, offering diverse hands-on cultural programs as well. This reminds me of uh, when we used to live in Korea, and uh, I love these purple flowers, and I used to, it re reminded me of uh, the countryside where I used to live near Andong and we'd go for drives during the, uh, on the weekends and um, we'd stop on the side of the road and then we'd see all these beautiful purple flowers. Hunshinji Pond is Jan's last destination in Chengdu. The lotus leaves and stems may have lost the beautiful flowers that bloomed in summer. Jan, however, is having the best time discovering new aspects of Hanji. Jan finds herself back in Insadong in Seoul. Having discovered Hanji and the colors of Korea, she is ready to create a new piece of art. She heads to a folk painting museum to meet someone special. It's Kim Suji a young artist who has merged Hanji with folk painting. Oh, beautiful. Left behind by unknown artists, these entertaining folk paintings blend natural sceneries and animals with the basic wishes in life, longevity, and success. Hwajodo, which was often hung in the room of newlyweds, represents the wish for fecundity and conjugal happiness through its splendid flowers and bright colors. Jan wants to depict her journey through folk painting, the most Korean of all art genres. Uh, How will she express all the Hanji-related stories, the lives of the individuals that Kyubang craft reflects, and the traditions and cultures of Korea that have captivated her all over again? She has a lot of thinking to do. Hi, Suji Kim. Nice to see you again. I've, um... 
무슨 종이에요? I made this uh, paper. I've dyed this paper, and I thought maybe we could. Wow. So what do you think? Yeah. 너무 이쁜데. 와. Yeah. 선생님 이거 어떤 작업 하시고 싶으세요? Oh, what would I like to make? I think that um, I'd like to uh, make a big leaf, and then yeah. using the different colours of autumn in the leaf. 그러면 선생님 가을이니까요. 지금 염색하신 것도 다 가을색이고 음. 이거를 한국의 땅? 땅 느낌? 그럼? Yes, yes, that could be on the ground. And then in the middle we have a bit of a mixture between the blue and the, the mustard colour. And to me this represents um, the joining of uh, cultures. Between Korea and Australia, it's a merging of colours and a merging of cultures. Will she be able to create what she has in mind? In the hands of the two artists, Hanji becomes the ground, the sky, and a big leaf. 마르기 전에 구겨주세요. 과감하게 하셔도 돼요. 이렇게. 그러니까 제가 좋아하는 작업이고요. 제가 즐겨하는 작업인데요. 한지의 질감이 더 극대화돼서 마르기 전에 작업하면 훨씬 이쁘게 마를 거예요, 선생님. Jan wants to include a drawing of the persimmons that she saw in Chengdu. The lotus leaves I saw in the pond at the traditional home. And um, even though the leaves were starting to fade, they, they still had a beauty all their own. A beautiful turtle that's been painted and put on here. And this represents the, um, the rich history that's here, the longevity, a turtle represents longevity. I do. It, it uh, has all the symbols of the journey that I've just um, undertaken and um, everything has come together in a wonderful uh, time that I've had here in Korea. You're such a wonderful artist and um, I really appreciate your time and, and the effort that uh, you've put into helping me here. You learn every time you make something. You learn more and more, and next time you might do things differently. So passion is a very difficult thing to explain, but um, one which all I can say is that uh, it's something that you really want to do, really, really enjoy. And uh, it's interesting that it, that I, my passion is a Korean passion. You know, a Korean thing, a Korean craft. It's such a traditional craft that um, it's handed down from one generation to another. So I thought, well, I can put my ideas down and my journey of uh, doing hanji because it's such a wonderful craft. The journey for me has been amazing and it's going to help me so much with my book because um, I've been able to see different sides of the hunchy paper and uh, the way that it's been made traditionally. Um, I get this uh, sense of peace and serenity that 
normally um, I can't experience when I'm overseas, when I'm at home. So for me, being here in Korea and being able to um, experience Korea once again is uh, a turning point in doing my book because I can add so much more now, so much more information that has been given to me. Um, for me, it's, it's a, a wonderful journey and something that I will never forget.